More than 90,000 new cases of melanoma are diagnosed each year. A Nocatee woman never expected she would be part of that statistic. She sat down with our Julia Dreyer and shares a very important, potentially life-saving message for everyone here on the First Coast. I've been running for many years. I've done 30 marathons, so I spent a lot of time outside. Cynthia Ryan lives for the outdoors, running, biking, all under the strong Florida sun. I have freckles, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm fair skinned, but I tan fairly easily, and so I didn't think that it would, that it's really any sort of a big deal. I had no idea. She was training for her first Ironman in February when she found a spot on her calf. A big freckle that was jagged. You know, it wasn't a, just a round mole. It looked like a big, and it seemed to be getting bigger. The diagnosis, melanoma. Ryan says it didn't hit her until she got home and started researching. I said, oh my God, like I could die. The American Cancer Society estimates 91,000 new melanomas will be diagnosed in 2018. 9,300 people will die. We live in Florida beautiful sun, but we have to realize what it can do. Dr. Scott Fosco, a dermatologist at the Mayo Clinic, removed Ryan's melanoma. Thanks to early detection, it didn't spread. Patients are coming in a little bit earlier saying, I'm a little concerned about this, or this is changing, or just coming in for skin checks and allows things to be found earlier at a very curable stage. Dr. Fosco says melanoma incidence continues to rise every year. Often, the damage that leads to melanoma happens decades earlier. Numerous sunburns at a young age can really set you up for an increased risk of melanoma. The good news? It's preventable. Both Dr. Fosco and Ryan say it's key to protect your skin from the sun and to know your own body. Just checking your skin for freckles that, you know, that look funny or they're raised, um, it goes a long way. Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News, on your side. So again, with melanoma, early detection is key. And for more information about what you should look for that could signal it's time to see a dermatologist, we have posted an extra video with the doctor in this story on our website. Just head to firstcoastnews.com.